Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So in the previous video we have learned about the GitHub Copilot. Now in this video what I want to explain you is about the another interesting editor that is Cursor IDE. So which has the AI tool by default. Now here if I if you open here the cursor. So this is our cursor and the first one you will be able to see the cursor the first AI first code editor and if you click on this one so here you will be able to see now the pricing so now you may be having doubt whether it is available free or uh, what I can say is paid version so it is, it is it is also having the free version and also the paid version and it is available in all the things like Windows Mac and Linux so whichever the operating system is feasible so you can install it now let's go on to this pricing thing so we are having the free version here and we $20 per month we can have it pro and like this we can have it. So this is all the about this one. So now for the time being what we can do is we can analyze this free version. Now what we need to do is so in order to install this one so you can click on this download for windows automatically this cursor AI editor will be installed. So this one cursor AI editor it is similar to it's a copy of the visual studio code but you will be having the AI features like charting and all those things just like the chart GPT. Now I have already installed this one. So I have downloaded the software. I have already installed it. Now let's open this cursor in my system. So cursor, I will try to open this app. And now I want to explain you about this one. So this cursor, so this looks like something like uh, what I want to say visual studio code only. And now if you want to import the settings of visual studio code, you can install it. So for example, let's say that control comma, you can type it and here you can add something like here you'll be able to see import VS code extensions and settings. And if you click on this one, automatically the visual studio code extensions and all the things, whatever is there, it will be installed. And the another one, which I want to tell you is the set. It's something like similar to the visual studio code only. So there is nothing uh, difference is there and you can go to the preference settings and all those things you will be having. So there is no need to bother about this one all. Okay, I will make it as 20 so that we'll be able to see. The. Now what I want to tell you is the, so here you can press the control L and here you will be able to enter the cursor editor. You will be able to enter into a chart mode and here you can chart whatever the thing you want to have. So here I want to create a JavaScript file to show to write a prime numbers function so just i am trying to show the details now if i click press enter automatically it will try to give you a simple example how to create the prime numbers now here you'll be able to see entire thing it is trying to create it see this is how it will be creating now if you want you can directly copy this one or otherwise you can you can read the description and all those things and you can ask for the follow-up chart also okay so like this you can do it now in order to have this one so here i have created a numbers.js file and here if you want to chart it if you want to chart in the cursor so you can press ctrl k okay and here you can add the instructions so write the prime numbers function from 1 to 1000 okay so i am generating the code now it will generate the code automatically for you so it is generating the prime numbers is prime of num and all those things and it will accept i want to accept it now you will be able to see the code so now here you can ask anything so now you can ask is prime of num prime numbers and it is taking this one so now here i can ask uh, call oh sorry control k right so you can ask call the function so here if you try to see now it is calling the function so like this you can go on asking everything so now for example let's say that if i have written anything wrong at the top import react from react let's say that i have used this react okay now we don't know what is the error in this one so we don't know what is the error in this one so here if you can see here react is declared but its value is never read so if you want to click here so it will give you what is the type of error so now here it will go automatically into the chart 
and it is telling that the error message is indicating that you have not input you that you have imported the react library but you are not using it anywhere in the code so here like this so how can i so here you can ask how can i do this so now here you can ask this one how can i do this and click on enter and like this the follow up chart everything will be there so this is how this cursor cursor a editor will be useful for us so whatever the thing you want to do you can do it uh, you using the ai chart ai chart tool so hope you understood about this uh, cursor editor new one so just like the visual studio code editor only it is a freeware only but you will be having limited access so if you want to access this one then you can you can make use of this one hope you understood about this cursor editor if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you